This is a monumental rescue operations in Uttarkashi. Well, uh, the rescue operations continue as 41 trapped workers are still under the debris. Well, officials have begun vertical drilling at two sites, a process which is risky but of course a huge development. Manual drilling can also begin later. The army has also been called in to help with the rescue operations. Take a look at this report. Presence of army men at the rescue site in Uttarkashi brings a much needed new glimmer of hope to the family members of the 41 workers who have been trapped at this under construction tunnel in Silkyara for the last two weeks. Army has joined the rescue operations as official scamper for more options to bring the workers out. हमारे अंदर हमारे छोटे भाई फंसे हुए हैं कितने दिन से मतलब कुछ बात नहीं हुई इनके आपसे या नहीं बात तो अभी हो रही है रोज हो रही है जी हाँ आज सवेरे भी बात किया था कल भी बात हुई है अथॉरिटीज हु वो अर्लियर बैंकिंग ऑन हॉरिजॉन्टल ड्रिलिंग हैव पुट अ सिक्स पॉइंट एक्शन प्लान इन प्लेस विद मल्टीपल ऑप्शंस बीइंग यूटिलाइज्ड साइमेंटेनियसली प्लान वन इज द हॉरिजॉन्टल ड्रिलिंग ऑप्शन द बिग ड्रिलिंग मशीन हैज गॉन बस्ट बट अथॉरिटीज आर मेकिंग अ बिग टू स्टार्ट मैनुअल डिगिंग फ्रॉम मंडे प्लान टू is the vertical drilling option which has already started at the mishap site and by this method the workers can be brought out in 4 days plan 3 is the horizontal micro drilling from the left plan 4 is trying to create an entrance by the barcode site using explosives plan 5 vertical drilling by the ongc on the barcode site and plan 6 of drip drilling by the army has also been started. Authorities claim adequate precautions are being taken to control the vibrations due to the vertical drilling. 86 meter jana hai, 15 meter takriban ho gai hai drilling aur isko check kiya ja raha hai kitni stability hai iske baad. Meanwhile, questions are being raised about safety measures being adopted when construction was going on. ये कोलैप्स जो हुआ है उसके के लिए चाहे निर्माणदाई जो संस्था है जो कंपनी है वो कभी इसको एक्सेप्ट नहीं करेगी लेकिन मुझे ये पक्का यकीन है कि इन्होंने बड़ा ब्लास्टिंग किया जिसकी वजह से ये कोलैप्स हुआ है There is no doubt conducting rescue operations in such difficult terrain is very strenuous but now questions are being asked about safety audits whether they were done before the construction began also, experts are now questioning whether the mouth of the tunnel would be used when the tunnel is thrown open for general public or whether an alternate route would be have to be worked out. From Silkyara Tunnel with camera person Pavan Kumar, this is Neeta Sharma reporting for NGTV. So, well, many larger questions, but the focus remains the rescue operations. Moving now to a shocking story from Uttar Pradesh's Meerut. Well, a student was beaten and urinated upon in this district of Uttar Pradesh. The police have now taken action, but this comes only after this video went viral on social media. An absolutely horrific video in which you can see a 21-year-old victim appealing to his attackers not to attack him. In fact, the main accused in this particular case can also be seen drinking and smoking in this particular video. Seven people have been named in the FIR, but only one has been arrested. Others are still absconding. My son is coming from Abhinthar. He is coming from the next day of the Nash. He is coming from the next day of the Nash. He is coming from the next day. 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 जान से मारने की धमकी दी लड़के की इतनी पिटाई की है कि बहुत सब में माफ साध में है बंदे की 13 नवंबर 2023 को थाना मेडिकल क्षेत्र अंतर्गत मोहल्ला जागृत बिहार में एक युवक के साथ कुछ व्यक्तियों द्वारा मारपीट की गई थी और मारपीट के दौरान ही उक्त युवक पर यूरिन पास भी किया गया था इस घटना के संबंध में पीड़ित युवक के पिता की तहरीर पर थाना मेडिकल पर समुचित धाराओं में अभियोग पंजीकृत किया जा चुका है तथा मुख्य आरोपी को गिरफ्तार किया जा चुका है the shameful incident is of the 13th of November, just a day after Diwali. The victim was actually coming back from his aunt's house after giving Diwali to his aunt. And on his way back, the accused actually caught him and took him to an unknown secluded place where they started beating him up, 
uh, all the accused were actually intoxicated and you can see in the video that uh, the accused uh, accused are holding alcohol in their hands they are smoking cigarettes and they are beating the victim very badly they went on to beat him up and then after beating him one of the accused the main accused uh, the main accused urinated upon the victim the victim can be clearly seen requesting begging uh, the accused to not do this to not to not urinate upon him and then he further goes on to, to say that please don't please don't you know record the whole incident on camera uh, a very 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 shameful incident but please don't insist, uh, please don't uh, uh, record the whole incident on the camera uh, uh, while this was happening his family the victim's family was looking for him on, on the night of on the night on 13th night somehow the victim managed to return home the next morning that is on 14th morning and after he returned after he returned home on 14th morning he he told his family about what happened to him but did not mention about the urination he did not mention the urination part for, for could be any reason he did not mention the urination part and then the family went on to police station to file a complaint now on 14th of november the family went to police station to file a complaint the fir was then registered two days later on 16th of november uh, the FIR was registered. The FIR was registered uh, uh, on 16th of November. Now, uh, what is more shocking here is that after the FIR was registered, the accused actually went on to leak the viral video on the internet. And then after the video went viral on the internet, uh, the after the video went viral on the internet, the family then came to know about it. And then the victim finally uh, told exactly completely what happened to him. Now, uh, after after the victim told the family what happened to him, including uh, he told him uh, the victim told about the beating and the urination part as well. The fam the family uh, went, again went to the police station, filed a complaint, and then the police swung into action. Uh, out of the seven people, one has been arrested, uh, uh, but six are six have still not been arrested. Out of the seven, four have been uh, four have been named in the FIR. Three uh, the, the three people are unnamed. And uh, uh, two, uh, two uh, out of the four, uh, the victim actually was friends with two of them earlier and knew the knew the other two people. He could not identify all the people, but uh, uh, four people have been identified. Uh, one has been arrested, but six have still not been arrested. What is being questioned here is the disregard for the law because after the complaint, after the initial complaint was registered, the well, accused still, you know, went on to uh, to put the video. It is being said the accused put the video on the internet, and after after the uh, complaint was filed, this stuff they still went on to you know uh, publish the video, make the video viral on the internet. So, well, where, where are we really headed to as a society? But moving now to a shocking story from Kerala. Four students died in a stampede at a college event in uh, Kochi. In fact, uh, over 60 students have been injured at this particular stampede. Now, the police say it was a freak accident because of sudden rain, but larger questions on lapses and negligence are being raised. Take a look at this report. In the blink of an eye, a college fest in Kerala's Kochi turned into a tragic episode. There was rain which led to chaos and a stampede that killed four students. Sixty other students have also been injured. The Kochi University of Science and Technology had organized an event where singer Nikita Gandhi was scheduled to perform on Saturday. There was a huge crowd which started to build up from the evening, eager to attend. Suddenly, there was a dark shadow over the event as it began to pour. As per authorities, there was an announcement made that engineering students will be given preference in entry. This made other students restless. Once the rains began, students from other streams and colleges saw this as an opportunity to rush in. During that rush, few of the students fell on the steps and others walked over them. Yeah, because of the, there was a slight drizzle, rain happened also. So that uh, during that rain, probably at 6.45, there was uh, uh, all the students who had gathered outside, that minor drizzle, they pushed inside the government as well as the state university and the uh, university administration also including the vice chancellor and syndicate members are really, uh, we are uh, compiling a report also and this report will definitely uh, detail on what are the future strengthening measures what we have to do. But questions arise as to why there was negligible security at the high interest event 
and why was the entire crowd management left to students yes university security and teachers were teachers. also there teachers was also there uh, but they usually the thing why are such programs happening what is the, the police con control the students by checking identity cards that is done by our own students that is again happened yesterday also our student volunteers were checking the identity cards and entering students so that that took little bit slow process that was the reason then outside lot of people are waiting a university event that turned into a tragedy now university authorities as well as the police both are trying to piece together what led to this stampede clearly it is a wake up call for authorities to have a better crowd management strategy in place in order to avoid such mishaps in future with camera person govind murthy in kochi nehal khidwai for ndtv well rather unfortunate there but moving now to news from madhya pradesh in shahdol well what is a huge concern is sand mafia in fact the sand mafia has now killed a revenue official the revenue official was crushed to death now the official was killed while he was attempting to stop illegal mining a pattern that we've seen in this area of madhya pradesh couple of times in the past as well बेवहारी में गुड़वा क्षेत्र में अवैध के रेत उत्खनन के लगातार मामले सामने आ रहे थे और इसकी शिकायतें प्राप्त हो रही थी इसलिए तेईस तारीख को राजस्व खनिज ने और पुलिस अधिक के साथ में वहां पर निरीक्षण किया गया और 24 और 25 को बड़ी बड़ी अवैध की जब्ती की गई और 25 तारीख की रात को साढ़े बजे तक एस खनिज अधिकारी और पुलिस के जवान वहाँ पे मौके पे थे और उन्होंने वहाँ पे जब्ती की पूरी जब्ती की गई और उसके बाद रात के समय चार हमारे जो पटवारी थे जिनको की उस क्षेत्र में लगातार तीन दिन तक वो जब्ती में सहयोग कर रहे थे उनकी उनको वहां पे कार्रवाई करवा रहे थे वो रात को सिर्फ ये मौका देखने के लिए वो गए थे कि अब और कोई रेत तो नहीं बची या कोई घटना नहीं हो रही तो उसी वक्त एक ट्रैक्टर निकला जिससे उन्होंने सिर्फ मात्र पूछताछ के लिए उसके रोक के बस जानकारी लेना चाहिए तो उसने हमारे पटवारी है प्रसन्न सिंह उसको वहां पे उसने कुचल के उसको मार दिया शराब माफिया को और खनिज माफिया सहित सट्टा व्यापारियों को पूरा संरक्षण की सरकार ने दिया है तमाम अधिकारी कर्मचारी की पिटाई हुई और उनकी मारपीट से माफियाओं के द्वारा हत्या भी की गई है शिवराज सिंह से कहना अनुरोध करता हूं मुख्यमंत्री से कि पटवारी की हत्या करने वाले गैंग रेप करने वाले भारतीय जनता पार्टी के नेता बच्चियों के साथ छेड़खानी करें इनके मकान क्यों नहीं टूटते देखिए अपराधी पर कल रात ही इनाम घोषित हो गया था उसको पकड़ लिया गया है ट्रैक्टर जब्त कर लिया गया है और इससे जुड़े हुए जो भी और लोग हैं उनको नहीं छोड़ा जाएगा ये जो आचार संहिता के चलते जो खनन माफिया थोड़ा बहुत सर उठा रहा है तीन तारीख के बाद जब सरकार जब आएगी तो उसको कुचल दिया जाएगा किसी को नहीं छोड़ा जाएगा देखिए कांग्रेस द्वारा जनित और संरक्षण प्राप्त ही ये सब लोग होते हैं और पहले भी जब जब हमारी सरकार रही है इस तरह के अपराधियों को इस तरह के माफियाओं को खदेड़ दिया गया था तीन तारीख के बाद जब सरकार दोबारा आएगी तो दोबारा इस तरह के किसी व्यक्ति को छोड़ा नहीं जाएगा Uh, totally the sand mafias are now in a full swing in these uh, districts uh, especially shehdol and the gwalior chambal area uh, this case was reported last night at around 12 am uh, the biggest update in this whole case is that uh, the police has arrested the vehicle owner uh, the vehicle uh, the, the, uh, the owner of the vehicle from which the patwari was been crushed to death around 12 am four patwaris were patrolling with a government vehicle around the so river of shadol district where uh, they stopped a truck uh, which was allegedly uh, transferring uh, the sand and was uh, doing illegal sand transportation there and as soon as they stopped the truck the uh, the driver uh, crushed one of the uh, one of the patwaris to the death and ran away according to the locals the body of the patwari was lying on the ghats whole night uh, the, uh, the colleagues informed about his body uh, to the administration and the administration reached there and uh, took over his body and sent it to the post mortem uh, but police has arrested one of the accused the driver uh, 
uh, and has lodged FIR uh, against him and also the vehicle owner is now arrested. Uh, but this nexus in Madhya Pradesh is uh, really very active these days. So uh, police needs to find uh, the uh, who is uh, like controlling this nexus in uh, Madhya Pradesh, especially in this shadow area around the Son River because uh, in full swing the uh, illegal transportation of sand uh, is being done in uh, especially these areas and these districts in Madhya Pradesh. So well, this has become a huge nuisance there and also a political flashpoint between the BJP and the Congress. We'll take a short break now. News continues on the other side.